Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. As you can see in the background I have recorded my opening of my two boxes from the new starter deck 13 and I have decided to uh, make a nice video for you guys so you can actually take a closer look at all of the cards, at the boxes, at the bonus packs, pretty much everything that comes with uh, a sealed box or basically with two sealed boxes. So if you guys want to take a closer look at some cards, feel free to stop the video and check them out for yourself. So basically this is um, something similar like the uh, starter deck 10 where you have three leaders, all of them sharing uh, a same color. Uh, this uh, deck shares pretty much the color yellow for all of the leaders. There is uh, nothing new to say about the deck, you guys know the cards, you guys know the decks, but at the background you can see some nice footage of the cards and you can see um, the texture, the foil, just for the background's sake. And I have um, thought about to actually include gameplay for the Black and Yellow Luffy deck in this video, but I have decided against it because I think that I will be actually recording um, live games or um, not really live games but I will be recording some games with my um, with my friends or at my locals so I think that this would be um, nicer uh, and I think that you guys actually enjoy uh, these kinds of videos more so I would actually record them and add some effects like um, when a card gets plus 2000, 3000 attacks, blocks, whatever. I think you guys know what I'm pretty much saying. Um, so basically I will be trying and get some get some um, fights between uh, newer decks and older decks and mix this up in this channel so you guys can check them out and I think that this will be uh, pretty cool. So. Uh, as you guys can see in the background, uh, all the interesting cards basically are Ace, Sabo and Luffy uh, in their 5 cost and their 2 cost versions. And um, also, uh, at the end of the video, we will actually open uh, my two uh, bonus packs and you guys will see if I was lucky enough to pull a leader or a certain alternative out I was chasing and also I will be uh, showing you guys what my current black yellow Luffy uh, deck looks like because as of now we do not have access to OP07 obviously and we do not have access to the memorial collection so we would need some cards but I will actually make another um, quick video once EB and OP07 hits. Maybe I will make an updated guide to the Black Yellow Luffy, depending on um, depending on the depending if you guys want to see it or not, and if I can just squeeze it in in another video. So basically, I really have to say that I made a great job with this deck. It really feels nice to play, it's really smooth, uh, no matter if you play the black and yellow Luffy, the blue and yellow Ace or the red and yellow Sabo, all of them feel strong, all of them feel nice and these cards certainly do work well with each other and I think that, that the starter deck 13 is a bit better or a bit mm, more interesting than the starter deck 10 this is just um this is just my opinion because i actually like the color yellow more uh it f it just feels a bit smooth in this particular deck but we can now take a closer look at my two bonus packs basically you get one booster with three cards in each deck and you can be lucky enough to get a lead alternative art or you get uh, certain character cards and we will now take a closer look the first card is the baby Luffy then we have the big rush Portcus the ace and for the last pack we have baby Sabo two cost great hits I really like those and now we can take a look at the second and also the last bonus pack from my boxes 
I was really hoping to get my chase cards. And you guys can already see I was checking for the red. I wasn't lucky enough. We have Yamato, the 5 cost rush. We have another baby Luffy, which I was really glad about. And we have one 5 cost Luffy. So I was really excited and I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, as I have said, I would have really uh, wanted the black and yellow Luffy leader alternative art. But uh, I'm not really mad because just take a closer look at these alternatives. They are amazing. They have super nice foil. They are also textured. Just look at the flames from Ace. This is really, really beautiful. And I will definitely get a playset of all the baby versions. And if the price also goes down, I think I will get a playset of all the star. Uh, the cards from the starter deck which I use. Yamato also really nice. I have not seen her in the alternative art. I mean I have but I have not taken a closer look and she looks even nicer in real life. So um, and now you guys can see the current deck list I am running. So basically I am using the black and yellow Luffy leader. Um, I have not made a video uh, of him yet, but I think that I can do it. I will actually show some gameplay as I have said before, but now um, We can take a closer look obviously you need to run for Moria because this is one of your key cards in this deck Then I am also running four copies of the new five cost Luffy one of them being alternative art I love it really really strong card really really good most of the time being an 8k threat. Then you have one of the best yellow rush cards, uh, Portcast the Ace, also luckily enough to have uh, one of them in alternative art. Then your other key card, which you really have to uh, run as a four of, is the Black Sabo. This is, I think, your most uh, strongest card or the strongest card in the deck this is definitely your key card it helps you so much and uh, as of now we are using two copies of the new five cost sabo because we cannot use the op07 luffy sadly then obviously we are running four of the baby two cost luffy's two of them uh, being alternative art i love them then obviously if we run luffy we need to run four sabos this is pretty self-explanatory and because we are playing the three brothers we also need the third brother and this is also four copies of ace you really want them and then we move on with hiyori as a four off she helps you to get your your big brothers out and she's also 2k counter Then we are running four copies of Garp to search your key cards to make your place, to set up your place. Then we are running four copies of Makino. Because as of now we do not have Flampe from EB01, so this is uh, your Flampe until she actually comes out. Then we are running four copies of three brothers bond three brothers bond there is no r in that um you really want to see this to uh, search your key cards then as of now you could run four copies of satori if you want a more defensive type uh, uh play style but i have chosen to play two copies of yamato and two copies of shirohoshi to have some more aggressive play style and basically all you want to do in this deck is search for Sabo and another brother. Basically, you want to um, to to uh, to walk around the same uh, movement. What do I mean by that? Most of the times, you want to recycle Sabo and another brother because you can um, use your leader effect to get two life back. Basically, two five cost units, and you either want to. Uh, put all of them on the field. This is um, pretty uh, doable with the Moria. You can actually use your uh, Moria with 8 Dawn to summon him, summon the two 
uh, baby versions of your brothers and then with your leader effect get the bigger versions of them from your graveyard or from your trash to your life and then use the effect from the baby ones to uh, push yourself and have great defense but if you cannot do the Gekumoria play you really want to try and recycle Sabo over and over to make use of his um, uh, spell shield effect and him being a blocker use him as a blocker do not be greedy and do not uh, uh, save him he is your blocker you want him in the trash because you want to recycle him do it and do not be greedy and let your opponent actually outmaneuver you and most of the time you really just want to take life as soon as you can use the leader effect from your black and yellow luffy and then cycle and add two life again and again and again and your enemy really should not Put you in a space where you have zero life and if he's smart enough to let you one or even two lives then you really need to play some cards to pick up your life that you can start your cycle basically this is it guys and i think you i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace